a thriving economy, political stability, and a talented international workforce are key ingredients that help to explain the success of the Swiss innovation recipe. The Hewlett Packard Enterprise Geneva office hosted both the HP Swiss team, focusing on Swiss customers and partners, and HP International team, which has a global or regional activities. As part of the global team located in Geneva is the Customer Innovation Center, where we host customers coming from all European countries for one to two days briefing, face to face, or two to three hours virtually. During this session, we present HP product and solution. So from an history standpoint, HP is having a very long history in Switzerland. For instance, the building I'm currently in has been built in 1968, and it was one of the very first HPE office overseas here in Europe. From a location standpoint, the Geneva office is very convenient because we're only 15 minutes far from the airport, making it very easy for our international customer to come and visit us. Switzerland is definitely one of the most innovative countries in the world, as shown by several rankings, such as the Global Innovation Index from the World Intellectual Property Organization, which again ranks Switzerland in first place in its latest report. A thriving economy, political stability, and a talented international workforce are key ingredients that help to explain the success of the Swiss innovation recipe. Switzerland innovation is created by important corporations in powerful industries such as banking, healthcare and pharma, or even manufacturing. In addition, world-class academic institutions such as EPFL in Lausanne or ETH in Zurich provide great talent and work with the private sector to boost innovation. This too is an important aspect of Switzerland's success. One of the challenges remains to co-innovate while keeping uh, its data safe and uh, in a data sovereignty world. It's uh, important to have a framework and a clear framework where you, where you can innovate while keeping your data safe. And this is what we are doing also in Switzerland with our customers to help them in this data sovereignty challenge uh, to protect their data and boost their innovation capabilities in a safe environment. In 1939, two friends called Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard created a company called Hewlett Packard. They didn't know that they just had also invented Silicon Valley, forming its first major tech company. More than 80 years later, we have not forgotten that we were one of the first startups in the world and we love to partner with startups in order to create disruptive solutions for our customers from local with our Swiss startup program to global with our corporate venture arm, HP Pathfinder. We collaborate on a daily basis with startups and scale-ups on matters ranging from business collaboration to targeted investment. Locally, we partner with Swiss academic institutions to find the best startups in AI and IoT fields. And we collaborate with them and also with private sector incubators like F10, for instance, from Six Group in banking. From zero default manufacturing to reinventing the digital customer experience in shops or even enabling enterprise blockchain, we partner with startups for real and for good. The conversation depends on the maturity level of the project. At the very early stage, we run more awareness discussion it is about inspiring our customer. Or it can be deeper dive conversation on dedicated solution when the project is becoming more mature. Amongst all of those conversations we're having, we can see common challenges. Challenges at the edge are due to the increasing complexity of the type of data and source of data that are being generated. On the cloud side, a large number of apps are still running outside the cloud, either to stay close to the data or for a reason of latency, dependency, regulatory compliance. Therefore, enterprises have two divergent models in operation, one in the cloud, one on-premise, and it costs them much more to maintain both. 
While enterprises generate and collect massive amounts of data, they are not bringing the data together to create timely insight and action. Everything is shifting to as a service. Customer wants to consume IT as a service. An other trend in all the conversation is about security. That is a very important topic on how to connect securely from the edge to the cloud. HP's edge to cloud strategy is resonating with manufacturing customers. The edge brings compute capability to where the data is being generated. Artificial intelligence is also a key aspect of the conversation on bringing more automation and prediction capabilities. We are having a lot of conversation on smarter autonomous operations that answer business continuity. Condition monitoring and prescriptive maintenance capabilities are concrete examples. The showroom we have here in Geneva allows us not only to talk about innovation, but demonstrate them live as well. We are concretely uh, helping companies in their manufacturing for dot zero transformation. One of the concrete examples we have is quality assurance. Traditionally, I mean, most of the companies are still getting an old way of analyzing the quality, mainly on the human and the eye contact. And this can lead to some issues in terms of quality. What we do is that we, we are introducing technology into the manufacture. Now, how it works, um, basically we are using IoT capabilities like from this IoT camera uh, where we are taking and capturing the data uh, images that are transmitted into an edge server where thanks to a machine learning algorithm you are able to detect immediately if your product is quality or if there is an issue and then you can immediately correct the issue. That brings then your product to better quality and you can increase significantly the quality of your products. You are then making your customers happier and of course you are able to reduce significantly your costs.